Welcome back to another candid session of Drone Business Strategy Magazine, where we seamlessly blend straight up, street smart strategies with scholarly insights to empower and inspire your professional aerial ambitions. And now, here's our navigator, business strategist, and commercial drone pilot, Tony Marino. How are you? And thank you so much for hanging with me today in this edition of Drone Business Strategy Magazine, the podcast. I'm Tony. You know who you are. Glad to have you on board. Today, we're diving deep into a topic often overlooked by drone pilots. It's public relations and PR. What is it and how can it benefit us? Surprised, all right? Also bear in mind that today's session, you and I are gonna be doing a primer right now. I've prepared a complete white paper for you. It provides real world examples of how you and I as drone pilots can maximize our PR capabilities to sustain our competitive advantage and to generate higher earnings. Also, I want to say this, if you have any questions, any comments, anything to add or take away, please leave your comments below. I read them all. It's the respectful thing to do, all right? If I'm going to be your friend, I've got to read your notes. Tell me where it hurts. What are you struggling with? You know, what wall are you having difficulty climbing? Maybe you don't even know where the wall is. Maybe you're having trouble with the vision or the mission of where you're going or what you want to do. You know, you love to fly the drone, but there's so many ways to generate capital utilizing the technology, right? Well, if you have questions that are bugging you and it's not even part of this program's topic or subject matter, I don't care. Put it down below. Let me know what you're thinking. Tell me where it hurts. Let me use all these, these years of business strategy experience, my MBA, my school of hard knocks, my failures and my victories to help out where I can. And the same goes for you. If you know something that I don't know, which is highly likely, share it. Okay, everybody's got a friendly ego here. The goal is that we have a great time, we enjoy our craft, we enjoy our creativity, we enjoy making a little bit of money and running a smart operation and taking care of people. That's what we do. Let's help each other get there. All right? There's already enough crap going on in the world. Let's make it more of a love fest when we get together. All right? How can we encourage and enrich and help each other be the best that we can be within this industry okay how can we help each other be proud of what we do so on to the program in the ever-evolving world of commercial drone operations so you know success goes way beyond mastering the controls and capturing stunning aerial imagery relative to becoming the entrepreneur entrepreneurial uh, player right? Rather than just being the hobbyist, now we're moving into the cash flow process, becoming commercial, okay? Flying for profit. Profitable drone pilots often find themselves soaring the skies with unmatched expertise. Wonderful pilots out there, especially with this, this these FPV units. Oh my Lord. Yet they remain unaware of a hidden challenge, and that's the world of public relations. Why is this so important? Why do we need to know this is drone pilots? as drone entrepreneurs? Well, to answer the question, we'll break it down for you. Three key sections. First, we'll understand the art and science of public relations. Then, we'll discuss the problems that a well-planned PR strategy can solve. Remember, problem-solution, we're critical thinkers. What is the problem? So that we, uh, we can then move forward to solve it, to mitigate the risk, right? Increase opportunity for success, minimize risk for failure. I think Dr. Dennis Waitley said that many years ago. I think it was called the psychology of winning or something. I, I think it was like the 70s I, I listened to that. Man, am I getting older. And finally, we'll explore why profitable drone pilots should embrace PR and how to do it effectively. 
Okay? Let's do this. Understanding what PR is and understanding what PR is not. Public relations. Before we delve into the details, let me clarify what public relations is and what it's not. Public relations is not about deception or spin. We don't need to do that. We're ethical in what we do. We trust in ourselves and our abilities. We follow the rules. We're solid leaders. We don't deceive people and we don't spin, although our drones do. At least the propellers, at least they should. It's not about covering up mistakes or misleading the public. Instead, PR is about transparency, honesty, and building meaningful relationships. It's about conveying our message authentically and ethically. It's the same thing we want when we go into the marketplace and we're looking for products and services. We're looking for the same stuff. And so is our audience and so are our co cohorts and our stakeholders. PR is not just about press releases and, 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 and media coverage. Although those, are, although those are important and wonderful when done appropriately. Well, these are essential components. PR encompasses a far broader spectrum of activities, which includes content creation, community engagement, crisis management, and ongoing relationship building with various stakeholders. PR, public relations, is not a one-off effort either. It's not something you, you do only when you have a major announcement or, or a crisis on your hand, right? Damage control. You see those with public affairs officers when police are, you know, responding and the PAO has got to get out there and talk about something, you know, good or bad, depending on the situation, right? It doesn't have to always be that way. PR is continuous, it's a 24-7 commitment to building and maintaining our reputation. In other words, we're always on. A couple of shows ago, I talked about, you know, you're driving down the road, you're on the way to a mission, right? You're going to go fly your objective, you're on your way, you're in a hurry. Okay, hopefully you're not in a hurry because you've planned carefully, but things happen. And then you got the guy in front of you going three miles an hour in the 65 mile an hour lane. So then you get cranky and maybe show the finger. Well, guess what? On the side of your vehicle, the big billboard of your brand. Now, every other car on the road thinks you're a lunatic. Guess what you've just done to your brand? You see what I mean? So it's we're 24 seven into this. All right. Now that I've clarified what PR is and what it's not, Let's move on to explore the art and science behind it. All right, here, let's have some fun. To kick off things, let me demystify PR. Let me make it simple. Simple's good. It's a multifaceted discipline. It involves a, a delicate balance of strategic thinking, communication, creative communication even better and relationship management. Let me say that again. Multifaceted discipline that encases a delicate balance of strategic thinking. What does that mean? Strate thinking smart, thinking it through, careful planning, strategic thinking. Number two, creative communication. What am I going to put out on social media about what I want to say? What video? What am I going to put in a video? How am I going to tell the story? Creative communication. A creative doesn't mean deceptive either. Doesn't mean it just means creative. Making it interesting, piquing interest to your audience. There's a difference between being slimy and being polished. Think about that. In your mind, what's the difference between slimy and polished? Well, you want to be creative. You want to be polished. Creative communication. So, delicate balance of strategic thinking, creative communication, and relationship management. We're building relationship people buy from who they like, 
who they trust, right? Success breeds success. Driving down the roadway, there's a restaurant on the left, there's a restaurant on the right. Where are we going to eat tonight, sweetheart? Well, there's a million people over at the restaurant on the left, so you're probably going to go there because you figure the other place looks like it's, it's like crickets. Success breeds success, right? So the art of PR involves creativity and storytelling, two things that we love. Most of the drone pilots I've ever met, even if they're flying ag, they still are creatives. They're still telling a story. What's going on with the farm? How are the crops going? How's my vineyard doing? You're telling a story with that drone, right? It's all about carrying narrative, crafting narratives, right? We're creating a narrative that showcase our drone services in a way that captures attention and leaves a lasting impression. See, very simple. But it's also about branding and image building, sculpting your brand identity, and creating a consistent and positive image for your drone business. Now, on the other hand, the science of PR encompasses strategic planning, which we do as pilots, right? What's the weather conditions? What airspace am I flying in? Is there going to be people, et cetera, et cetera? So we're already doing the strategic planning. Data and analytics, are we not doing that? Sure we are. We do our pre-flight planning. That's part of our checking and doing our creative uh, mission building. So we're using data. What's the forecast going to look like? Looking at analytics. The last time you flew something like this, how did it go? How about crisis management? That's part of the science of PR. Something goes wild, right? PR is going to be there to try to flatten things out, kind of soften the landing when we make boo-boos. But we also have to own them. But we can own them carefully, all right? If you make a mistake, say your story. But there's ways to say you're sorry and still mean it. Think about that, all right? But do it from the heart. And the adaption and evolution of your brand. So it's not just about creativity. It's about measuring the impact of our efforts and being prepared for challenges, all right, in a nutshell. So let's look at the problem. Unveiling the PR puzzle for drone pilots. Let's do that. Now that we've covered the art and science, let's talk about the problems PR can solve. The benefit to us. Remember, feature benefit. How does it benefit us? Remember, we're looking for to, to sustain a competitive advantage in our marketplace and to continue to be ever profitable. That's our fiduciary responsibility as entrepreneurs. We're operating a business fiduciarily. We got to keep it healthy. So here's what is PR? What problems does PR solve? Well, many talented drone pilots remain invisible to potential clients, despite their expertise. It, it's almost like they are incredible, but they fly in the closet. Nobody even knows they're in there. In a saturated market, just being a skilled pilot isn't enough to stand out. There are also reputation risks. Uh, one unfortunate incident can tarnish a reputation. And without a proactive PR strategy, if this, then that, right, we may struggle to handle negative situations effectively. And let's not forget about missed opportunities. Profitable drone pilots may unintentionally miss out on lucrative contracts because they're not top of mind when clients are seeking aerial services. If they don't know you, how can they even become interested in what you do or even call you to to, to handle a task. So why should you embrace PR? Well, first, it increases our visibility and market recognition. In a crowded market such as ours, and it's going to get more crowded, PR ensures potential clients know we exist and trust in our capabilities. PR also builds credibility and it builds trust. Clients are more likely to choose our services over competitors when they perceive our business 
as professional and reliable. Plus, it helps with reputation management. It also helps with positioning us as industry experts and for fostering client retention and growth. Those are wonderful benefits. Like I said, I prepared a sample PR strategy. It covers everything from media relationships and content creation uh, to community engagement, online presence, crisis management, industry partnerships, and measurement and evaluation. All right. And like I said, that white paper is available for you. In conclusion today, brothers and sisters, Profitable drone pilots understand that success isn't just about flying skills. It's also about managing public perception. PR is not a luxury, it's a necessity in today's digital age. And by implementing a well-planned PR strategy straight up, we can ensure that our drone business remains visible, credible, and resilient in the face of current and future challenges. So spread your wings and breast PR and watch your drone business reach new heights. That's it for this extended episode of Drone Business Strategy Magazine podcast. I want to thank you so much for hanging with me today, for tuning in, and be sure to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to get all the drone business strategy updates, episodes, and installments. And don't forget, Move on and download. Go to the description below. Download. The link is sitting there waiting for you. It's a white paper, very detailed white paper on today's topic, dealing with public relations essentials for drone pilots. Help yourself. It's a PDF. You can download it and file it. All right. Also, visit us at aerialnorthwest.com. Help yourself to the free. I think I've got over 100 uh, articles written over there about business strategy and what we do as commercial drone pilots. Help yourself. It's free. I put the work into it. You might as well go ahead and use it or throw it away. Whatever you'd like. Use what applies to your business. I don't know everything. You don't know everything. But together, I think we're stronger, right? So thanks for hanging with me today. I love you very much. And do fly cleverly. I'll see you soon. And that's a wrap for today's high-flying wisdom on the Drone Business Strategy Magazine podcast. Pre-planned for ambitious drone pilots like you. As we tie down another session of seamlessly blending street smart strategies with scholarly insights to empower and inspire your professional aerial ambitions, remember, your journey is your destination. For more drone business strategy information and valuable resources, be sure to explore aerialnorthwest.com. Stay tuned for more aerial adventures and strategic brilliance exclusively on the Drone Business Strategy Magazine podcast. Until next time, keep those dreams flying high.